What's up guys, this is Hawks Destiny today, and we are back playing Oxygen Not Included. This game is too much fun, I can't stay away from it, so let's dive right into this. So we're back in this, we got them building batteries, building tile, we have access to our water, we are going to have to do something about our oxygen soon enough, but let's work with what we have, we need to start up a power station and a research station, once we get our research going we can start getting water, oxygen from our water. But that is going to take a bit. So let's get our electrical wiring in on here. We also are going to need a food source very soon. So we going to have to search one out let's make another generator up here so we can have a reliable food source and we will put a few LG deoxy deoxidizers I'm probably saying that wrong to get some oxygen going. Yeah, deoxidizer. I was right. Plug these in, get those going, get some oxygen production going. generators powered up and start some research also we are going to start with farming tech so that way we can get our planter boxes our algae terrariums which help reduce di carbon dioxide and the compost bins so we can have fertilizer for our planter boxes set this to continually fabricate research this up then not set a power electrical wire to this I did not all right there we go let's sweep up all these materials And we have a new person coming in for us. A new duplicate. Let's see what we got here. We got Moon, who has an iron gut. Stops her from getting sick, but she's flatulent. We have Grub, who has mole hands and is naturally robust, but he has an irritable bowel which reduces his bladder efficiency and we got McNair who is still a grease monkey, he's amphibious he's naturally robust and he's anemic which means he's not very athletic they're all destructive though we'll take McNair because he has the most going for him get a sweep going up here too of all these materials Harvest what we can from these plants. Yes. 
This has no power still. Let's try and put it. Prioritize that a little bit higher. Get some power going, that way we can get some oxygen going. There we go. Now once we have our farming tech, we are probably going to focus on plumbing and water. That way we can find a way to access all this contaminated water and get some clean water out of it. To be able to do that though, I am going to dig down from here. Destroy that section and then build a couple ladders down. dig our path this way towards the contaminated water. We're going to need another bed for McNair to use. Because I feel like... I don't know where he slept, but it probably wasn't comfortable. Get a cot going. And something that I realized that I had not noticed is that we have floor lamps that help the decor. So let's put a couple of those down on the research station so that way they have something to see. Some light to read by. Put another cot down and we put down a massage table to help reduce their stress. Those probably really need power running to them. The massage table does not, so that's good. Not so much of a drain on our power resources. But these floor lamps do. So connect those to our current power grid. And just wait for them to start working on those. Once they get down here. Have to dig this out to be able to access that lap floor. Got plenty of slime down here. We can turn into algae when need be. But until such a need arises, we will focus on other things. They're still sweeping up all these little resource components. See how far research has gone. 14 out of 20, not doing too bad on research. Once we get our research done, we can harvest all these contaminated dirt out of this outhouse. Has 10 visits left. Well, nine now, thanks to Nicola. We have insufficient resources to continue powering these algae deoxidizers. We got this bit of algae here, and we are going to need that slime sooner than I thought. They're still busy collecting those resources, so that's good. Prioritize this cot. That way McNair doesn't have to sleep on the floor after. Probably should prioritize that algae a little bit. That way we have something to use to continue producing our oxygen. And we have our research completed. That is awesome. So we will start working on our plumbing, our water technology. 
because once we get the basic research done, we can get the percolation to get the bio distiller and the electrolyzers. So that's going to very much help. Have our algae terrariums. Don't have to worry too much about carbon dioxide right now. Get a compost bin going right next to this outhouse. Turner is running on the treadmill, on the hamster wheel, producing power for us. Thank you, Turner. And Viola is producing power for the oxygen, the algae deoxidizer. That is very good. Thank you, Viola. We have Nicola running research. And they are still collecting all these little resources. That does not look good. A hatch consumes any minerals within reach. That does not seem good for. That is not good. We are going to have to deal with him very soon because he is consuming our resources. So I'm going to put a bounty out on him. As soon as they wake up. He only has 25 health, so hopefully these my duplicates can take him out very easily because he is eating our resource. Not what I'm trying to do. Dig him up. Do something about that hatch. There we go. We can finally take care of him. Thank you, McNair. You will be rewarded for this one there. Don't let him get away, guys. He's eating our resources. Thank you. Suit that up. We got some meat off him, so not too bad. At least our resources are safe for now. rest of the colony doing. We need to put a priority on finishing these things, these buildings and lights. The research doesn't have to be so high, but if we can get some light going, that'd be better. Raise the decor a little bit. And have this compost bin ready because there's only five visits left on our outhouse. But that looks like all the time I'm going to have today, guys. So if you did like this video please drop a comment leave a like subscribe for more oxygen not included we will be digging these out into the next video hopefully finishing up our plumbing research and as always i hope to see you in the next one thank you very much for watching